hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing today i am doing great went and had lunch with some got to fellowship outside of church with some uh youth leaders that was a fun thing um i've been working on a slideshow for youth camp got lots of pictures i gotta find a way to cut some down Anyway, it's all good and it will all work out for God's glory. Um, it always does. It always does. I'm at the editing editing phase. Alright, well, that is not what I want to talk to you about tonight. I want to talk to you about Be Strong and Courageous. And I have my Be Strong and Courageous t-shirt on. For the Lord is with you. Uh, my focal verse today, my U version verse, was in Joshua 1. And so I just, I saw some things in that that I did not realize existed um, today when I read it. I've read it so many times before, but it's just things, things stand out. We can read something like so many times, and then that one time you read it just something different stands out so something different stood out to me today and i want to share that with you so um i hope everyone is well i hope everyone is good we had rain yesterday but no rain today it was a beautiful day today and uh where i live we have a tourism town and the tourists are out we had a lot of traffic today and it's it's just Tuesday. It's not it's not the weekend yet. Okay, so let's pray. God, we just praise you and thank you for all things, God. That you are the one that makes us brave. You are the one that calls us to be strong and courageous. You are the great I am. You are the great Jehovah. You are from everlasting to everlasting, God. You are our everlasting Father. You are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm. You are our strength and our refuge, God. There is no God like you. You are magnificent and powerful and mighty, and you are the righteous judge. It cannot be bought, cannot be compromised, and cannot be threatened. God, you will judge all unrighteousness. But God, you are slow to anger, and you are loving, and you are kind and compassionate. And you are patient, God. And you are forgiving, and you want none to perish, God. You want none to perish. Thank you for loving us, God. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just cry out for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to come home, God. We just pray for them to see where they are, God, and to return to you to repent of their sins and to allow you to reconcile the relationship between you and them. God, we just pray for all the disasters that are going on every day. God, just more and more things are happening. I was uh, looking at something a while ago, a big dust storm in Florida and in that area. God, there's just always some kind of something happening and God those are your signs and wonders and those are your birth pangs that you've sent to get attention the attention of mankind God I just pray that you would meet these people where they are and that you would um, have people come to be the loving compassion of Jesus and to help them meet their needs whatever they are God, we just pray for people that have lost loved ones. There's been so many the past two years, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for these family and friends. 
We just pray that they would feel your presence. And God, we just thank you for a good youth camp. We thank you that decisions were made, God. We thank you that seeds were planted. We just thank you for that. And we just pray, God, that you will continue to move in our youth hearts, our youth's hearts, God. And that they will seek you every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, all right, my pray and share warriors. I'm going to read you what I wrote this morning. Um, yeah, I did share it this morning. I couldn't remember. Today's kind of been a blur. I don't know. Okay, so this song is called Strong and Courageous. <laughs> and it's like a VBS song. I love VBS. So what a perfect song and message for my words today. Be strong and courageous. I love the lyrics of this song and this precious video of these children. It makes me want to go to VBS. It does make me want to go to VBS, which is Vacation Bible School. I love the songs with motions. I do. Uh, I'm never going to get too old for that. I love doing the motions to the songs. They are some of my favorite experiences with God. They are because I can just let loose. I can do motions to the songs, and it's just fun. So my verse today was in Joshua 1, and I noticed this time that God told Joshua three times to be strong and courageous, or be strong and of good courage. I am sure Joshua did have fear after Moses passing away, and the leadership got passed to him. I mean, that would be scary. You've got Moses out there, and he's listening to God. He's taking instructions from God. He's carrying out those instructions through the people, well, now it's you. Now you're it. You're the leader. You're the leader of the Israelites, so you're taking instruction from God. So God kept repeating these words to Joshua because he knows Joshua's heart like he knows our hearts. He knows our minds. He knows our doubts and our fears. Our shepherd knows us, and we know him too. We know that we can trust and follow him as he leads us. Jesus is the good shepherd. I lost my spot. Sorry. Jesus is the good shepherd. Is he your savior today? Is he your shepherd today? Are you following him? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Don't wait. Don't keep waiting. Your life is never going to be perfect enough for you to come to Jesus. You need to come as you are. Don't keep waiting. Don't keep staying on the fence. Make a decision and choose Jesus. That is the right decision. Um... Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so that's what I wrote this morning on Facebook. That was my morning share, and I put it on my uh, story also. So I do that every day. I've actually been doing that for about five years. I might skip a day here and there, but pretty much every day God brings me a song and shares with me what it, what he intends for it for me. And um, I just share it. That's just what I've been doing for years now. Okay. So let's move on to some scripture. Let's read Joshua 1. And I'll point out some of the things that stood out to me today. Joshua 1. I need a drink of water. I have my giant grandy cup tonight. 
Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou, and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. So this is the first time. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide, for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Okay, that's the second time. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and courageous, and of a good courage. Be not afraid neither, to be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare your victuals, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it, and to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to half of the tribe of Manasseh, spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle, shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side Jordan. But ye shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them, until the Lord hath have given your brethren rest, as he hath given you. And they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then ye shall return unto the land of your possession, and enjoy it which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side, Jordan, toward the sun rising. And they answered Joshua, saying, All that thou commandest us we will do, and whithersoever thou sendest us we will go. According as we hearken unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words, in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of good courage. Okay, four times. Four times. So, do you think that Joshua, I mean, God knows our hearts you think that God knew that Joshua had fear? Do you think that God knew that Joshua felt the pressure of being the new leader and not having Moses to rely on anymore, just, just the people, just 
God speaking to Joshua and Joshua speaking to the people, just like God spoke to Moses and Moses spoke to the people. Joshua is the new leader, and that begins right there where Joshua is the new leader. And four times God said, be strong and of good courage, or be strong and be courageous. So, you know, he's telling us that too right now. Be strong and be courageous. He's told me that so many times. Be strong and be courageous. So our strength comes from God. God gives us our strength. So let's look at Deuteronomy 31.6. It may be back the other way. It is. 31.6. Which I believe is leading up to Moses dying. 31. And the Lord shall give them up before your face, and ye may do unto them according unto all the commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him, In the sight of all Israel, be strong and of, good, and of a good courage. For thou must go with this people unto the land which the Lord hath sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. So this was before Moses died. And he is telling Joshua, You have to go. You have to go. You have to take these people. You need to be strong and courageous or be of good courage, which is the same. So I just thought that was really, really interesting this morning because in here in Deuteronomy 31, 23, and he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. So that is God speaking to Joshua. So Moses is, he's, um, this is like the end of Moses' this life, the life of Moses, <laughs> and the switching over to Joshua being the leader. Okay, so let's read Psalms 27, 14. Psalms 27, I hope that's my husband coming in here and not a bigger bear. I think I locked the door, so it's probably him. Okay, twenty-seven fourteen. Psalm twenty-seven fourteen. I think I'm going to read all of it because I just enjoy reading Psalms. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against, against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. 
Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me, and answer me. When thou saidst, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over to the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And that was a psalm of David. So we have one more in First Chronicles. I just kind of looked up other verses that said, you know, be strong and courageous. So let me see if I can find First Chronicles. Oh, I did. Well, I found second. First is just to the left. First Chronicles twenty-eight twenty. And David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and of good courage, and do it. Fear not, nor be dismayed. For the Lord God, even my God, will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, until thou hast finished all the work for the service of the house of the Lord. And behold, the courses of the priests and the Levites, even they shall be with thee for all the service of the house of God. And there shall be with thee for all manner of workmanship, every willing, skillful man, for any manner of service. Also the princes and all the people will be holy at thy commandment. So Solomon was, is, uh, Solomon was tasked to build a temple for God, a house, a house of the Lord. So that's what they were talking about, all the workmanship and everything. But um, David is telling his son Solomon to be strong and of good courage and do it. You know, do what God has asked you to do. And... Uh, do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for God God is with you. So that seems to be the message, you know, with this be strong and courageous, is that God is with you. God will be with you. God will not fail you. He will be with you. Okay, well, that's all the verses I found. If you can think of any other verses, then leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll look them up later. Okay, so these are my notes for today. And so he said, he said, Child, what you read this morning in my word spoke to you, and these are the words that I shared with you many times too, because I know your heart, just like I know the heart of Joshua and all of my children. I know what they all need also. What words to use to encourage them? What they need physically, emotionally, and spiritually too, child. I meet the needs of my children where they are. I meet my children in their unknown times and ask them to trust me there. I liked that, that he said. He meets us in our unknown times, in our times that we have doubt and we wonder, okay, what's next, God? He meets us there. And he knows what we need. And all we need to do is trust him. I will take care of them, and the good shepherd is there too. You read last night how the good shepherd Jesus knows his sheep, and they know him. 
We did read that. Keep walking with a shepherd that can protect you from the enemy and your enemies too. I see all that you are saying, God. I see it in your word and hear your words too. My eyes and ears are open to truth. And this is a tremendous tool to not invite the enemy into my thoughts to keep him shut out. I guess I invite him a lot through my thoughts. Please forgive me, God. I will try to do better going forward. I will walk through the open door before me through confidence in you and with trust and not fear. I will be strong and courageous, God. I will walk in obedience going forward, knowing that my shepherd is with me every step of the way. I will follow him. Thank you for meeting me today, God, and every day too. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go and be obedient to me. And all I ask, the reunion is soon. I am giving you an opportunity to share me with your family, to witness to people, to ensure they are in heaven, child. Maranatha, God. All right. Well, let's do a salvation message. How do we want to do it? I kind of like this. What? Hmm. I've only done this once and I'm I'm looking at this and I don't remember it being so in depth. <laughs> Maybe I just read the. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so one. This is the one. God loves you. God loves you. So God loves us and has a great plan for us. The very reason he created man was to have a personal relationship with him. When the Bible speaks of man being created in God's image in Genesis 1.27, it means that God gave man the ability to love him back, just as he loved us when he created us. Our love is a choice. Uh, we must choose to love God or to reject him. His desire, however, is that we choose His way and experience the full and abundant life that Jesus talked about in John 10.10 10, when He said, My purpose is to give life in all its fullness. One might ask, if that is God's desire, why aren't more people experiencing that full and abundant life? Um, where is two? Okay, here's two. Because of sin. Okay, I guess I can just read this. It might be much easier. I don't know where three is, though. One, two. Huh. Alright, well, I'm just going to read going to read it from here. Sorry. We are separated from God because of sin or wrongdoing in our lives. The Bible makes it clear in Romans 3.23 that we are all sinners and later in Romans 6.23 that the price for this sin is death. It is important to explain that this is not talking about physical death but spiritual death. When we are spiritually dead, we are apart from God, eternally separated. Isaiah 59.2 says, 
Your sins have cut you off from God. And so, um, where is three? Oh, there's three. Okay, this is three. God and man. And sin separates us. Sin separates us. Oops. Sin separates man from God, but there is hope. There's hope. We don't have to stay there. We don't have to stay in that separation. So let me find hope by finding the right one. Okay. So in the very middle, Jesus on the cross, that's our hope. So God showed us the price for our sin is already paid. God showed us his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Romans 5, 8. Sometimes people have trouble understanding how God paid for our sin. It may help to use an illustration here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not using an illustration. Okay, where is 5? Okay, it's free. Salvation is free. It doesn't cost anything for us, but it costs everything for Jesus. It's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You can't be saved by good works, Bible knowledge, morality, or religion. You can't earn your way to heaven. There is only one way. Okay, so where is six? Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. The only answer. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So it's up to you. You must decide for yourself if you are willing to turn from your sins and ask Jesus into your heart. Romans 10, 9 and John 1 through 12. So receive Christ, reject Christ. Not to decide is to decide. So if you would like to receive Christ, here is a prayer that you can say. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name, I pray. So, let me see. So if you said this prayer, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. You're, um, I don't know how to fold this. There we are. The answer. Jesus is the answer. You have now been saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, his son, which is the only way to salvation. And uh, the angels are rejoicing in heaven, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So welcome to the kingdom family of God. In order to grow closer to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, read God's Word every day. This is your instruction booklet for life. Start in Matthew, though. Don't start in Genesis, because going to get about to Leviticus and you're going to get really confused. So start in Matthew. Learn more about Jesus and pray. Pray to God every day and praise. Find you some praise music so that you can praise the God of the universe, His one and only Son, and the Holy Spirit. Alright, well I think 
that I have done everything that I came to do tonight. So I am going to give you a blessing from God out of Numbers 6, 24 through 26, which says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Peace is not overrated. We definitely need peace. All right, well, I'm going to pray. If you had any questions, if you received Jesus as your Savior, then put all that in the comments, okay? I do occasionally read them. I can't guarantee this week it's going to be an extremely busy week for me. But we will make it through this week. God, we just thank you. We thank you, God, that Jesus is the answer. That we do have an answer. We don't have to stay in the bondage of sin. That there is always hope through Jesus. That, God, you sent your son to die for us. To pay the ultimate price for our sins. And, God, we are thankful. God, we just pray. We just pray for more of the lost to come to Jesus to be saved. We just pray for a United States that is united again under you, God. Under the name of Jesus, under the banner, the love of Jesus. That we would be united again, God. That there would be unity again. God, we just pray for that for the whole world also. God, we just thank you for every blessing that you have given us, God. And we just thank you that uh, you care for everything in our lives, God. You know our hearts. You know our minds. You know when we have fear. You know when we have doubt, God. Please help us to be strong and courageous and to remember that you're always with us so we don't have to fear. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, my pray and share warriors, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your night. And an awesome tomorrow, which is Wednesday. We have youth tomorrow. I'm going to work on my slideshow again. And uh, I may go to bed early. I'm, I'm sleepy. Anyway, much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.